Ini nih. Bad thing about it is going to an apartment. I'm just hoping she's not upstairs. What do you say? What's going on, guys? So you tell me, would you do this order? This order is 49, actually, let me just show you guys. So it's 15 miles, $49.05. Would you do this order, if you were me? Uh, there's about eight cases, actually nine cases of water. No, actually seven cases of water. There's like 10 individually, um, um, shoved in my trunk bottles of like or, or cartons of like some juice y'all tell me would y'all do this order am I being um greed which way 22 minutes it says I'm 22 minutes away from the drop off so this is going to take me about an hour total to do for 49 dollars you tell me if it's worth the risk because the pay is for it's twenty two dollar tip, but the pay is only twenty seven dollars. So if she backs out of that tip, that means I'm gonna be doing this nasty order for twenty seven dollars. I am afraid of orders with big tips like this. I mean, actually, I did get one um, a while ago. It had a fifty dollar tip on it. It was like eighty dollars for like actually it came up to like ninety dollars for two stops. The second stop was a disaster because it was like freaking a Sam's Club order. And it was probably about um, maybe like 10 big cases of like cans of pop, whatever. And I had my cart, so I was able to get it all in one trip. And I think you guys saw that. Y'all saw that last delivery um, that I did. And she did confirm the tip like within like 20 minutes. You know, and I, that's the lady I thought was going to back out because I um, accidentally took her phone. But, I don't know guys, you let me know in the comments below, would you take this order? Now, I'm going to take you guys along with me on this. Um, like I said, we are exactly 14 miles, 22 minutes away from the drop-off. I'm hoping, it says apartment A, so I'm hoping apartment A, in most cases, are always on the first floor. Always the first apartment you see. So, I'm hoping this isn't something nasty to where I got to go through like two doors and I got to go up steps and just do the most. I'm hoping this is nice and easy carry these drinks and I need to get my weight up anyway so we're gonna see we'll be back in a second god not too bad these nice 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 folks easy access to the door uh, not too much work here for a nice tip it just seems like a good human being that's gonna leave the tip on couldn't even fake drama if I wanted to to like make a better video guys uh, that was amazing that made up for the two previous deliveries I'm about to tell y'all about in a second. I'm sitting here next to Cali Girl. That was perfect. We literally was able to just pull up. Um, I was able to, you know, just pull up and the, the kid came out with the dad to help me. He's much stronger than me. And it was a lot of stuff. And I knocked that out in five minutes. That was 101 items. Knocked it out in, what, five minutes? And then now I'm headed back. So I might get back to Walmart within an hour. So that means this is gonna be a $49 hour lit i'm happy after that um you know you sometimes get good people like that good customers like that who are um always showing love looking out because the um, two orders i got before i'm going to tell y'all about uh, real quick the first order was um it was a two order block that was 26 dollars. okay was easy like in theory but what happened was the first stop i get to the um the um, apartment complex it was 1.5 miles away okay so i get there within five minutes but there's nowhere to park on the street unless you park at the corner store or all the way down at the end of the street so i'm like you know i'm not doing that i'm gonna park in the red for a second uh if i needed to but then i saw the gate open so i go in the gate real quick after a car but then i realized that if i go in the gate without the buzzer i can't get out to freaking um you know carry the stuff out so I'm like, I can't park here. So I'm waiting for a car to let me in, let me out the gate because I called the patent um, customer's number two times and went straight to like, like just hung up. So they put the wrong number on there. They got like a dummy number or something. So then I text them like, this is your spark order. Can you answer the phone so I can get out this gate? Cause I'm just annoyed at this point. No answer, of course. So then I get out the gate, I go park in the red and then I walk the bags, like trying to be go above and beyond. So I walk the bags to her door but guess what happens? I get to her apartment, you know, inside. I have to go inside the gate. I get to her apartment. She literally has her gate locked 
literally locked where I couldn't even throw the stuff over the gate or it would have smashed. It was like two Gatorade. It was two Gatorade, um, 12 packs and like a, a bag like Red Bull. So I couldn't even do that. So now at this point, I'm really annoyed. So I'm calling the number again, go straight to, you know, of course, hanging up. So I'm like, okay, you know what? F you. Because the people next door were moving or something and I didn't want to take a chance of them stealing her stuff when I left. So I took it with me, even though it was no contact delivery. So this idiot obviously was trying to get me to leave this, this stuff there so she can run off with it because I would be blamed because I left it and it got stolen. So I wasn't playing that. So I brought it back, that first order back to the car and um, take it back to Walmart. So then I get to the second house. This lady, the nicest lady in the world, okay? Little older, you know, black lady. I get to her fence and I'm on the phone with Cali girl and I see these big dogs. I'm like, she better put those dogs away. I'm not playing this game. I walk to the gate. And these freaking huge like huskies were barking and like slobbers coming out their mouth. And they could have been nice dogs, but when you see slobber coming from the dog's mouth and their tail isn't wagging, those are dangerous dogs. You want to run away. Don't go nowhere near them. That's what was going on. So I'm telling a woman, I'm like, hey, you know, I want to get bit. Like, you know, what's going on here? She's like, oh, it's okay. You know, they're, they're not going to jump over the fence because they are taller than the fence. Literally, they were, their paws were over the fence. They could have easily have jumped out and came and got me. And my head was literally like this close to that one dog. And I'm like annoyed at this point, like lady, like do, you know I'm about to deliver your stuff. And you're over here smiling at me while your dogs are jumping over, trying to jump over the gate. I'm like, I don't know your dogs. So if I got bit, what do I do? So those were the previous two orders. I dropped off her stuff and kept it moving, but she's an idiot too. So two idiots, now I got this, this um, guy right here. You know, I always tell people, raise the right way. It ain't a coincidence. I pull up to that house, black family. Uh, actually, the Hisp it was a Hispanic lady and the guy looked like he was mixed white and black um, because he was like albino kind of looking. So um, he's a military vet, okay? Because it said like, like on his um, badge he had on his shirt, um, vets protecting America. So, I, so I'm like, I'm like respect for your service when I got I uh, saw him. So his son was mild mannered at first. His son and the daughter didn't come outside because you know the grandmother was there by herself, whatever, or the mom. And then the dad came out of nowhere looking like Vin Diesel out here. But then he looked at him, he was like looking buff. So I'm like, hey, what's going on? He came and he's like, yo, I take two waters. Like he's carrying them like it ain't nothing. I'm like, man, you freaking, I can tell you hit that way room strong. So, you know, I'm joking with him. And I saw the woman, she went into the app and she was probably clearing the tip right away. Like she wasn't even making me wait. So I know I'm getting a tip from that lady. So, um, you know, we get all the stuff in and I see the son, he comes out like, hey sir, thank you or whatever. Like the last trip is like, hey, thank you, whatever. But, um, he kind of said it like to where you could tell he's like a shy kid because he like whisper like, hey, thank you. So I'm like, bro, I want to say, I want to say, hey, Cali girl, you need to listen to this. I just passed the street up so turn on. I'm like, I want to say, Cali girl, did you see what this kid, this mild-mannered kid just did? So then the daughter, I go to the door to take the picture, you know, so I can close out the, the order. The daughter is like asking me if I want the popsicle because they had to go give me a sticker and a scan. She's asking me if I want the popsicle. I'm like, no, I'm okay, thank you. But that's what I mean by mild-mannered kids. When they got two parents, that's what happens. And of course, I don't want to go into the political rant, but all I'm saying is um, we got to get to the point that we got to put an emphasis on, you know, two-parent households. Because for some reason, I notice the most respectful kids that come outside and help me carry the bags. And they always, 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 for the most part, I see a mom and dad. Like, always. Never fails. You know, and um, it goes a long way. But let me get back on track here to the topic. I don't know how I ended up talking about the whole um, two-parent household, but I'm just, I just love the two-parent household, which is why I like the Cali girl right here. Uh, two-parent household, you know, my son, daughter, they're about to have all the love in the world. So let me calm this down and just say, that was a nice, easy $50. My GPS says I'm gonna get there, back to the Walmart at 8.03. So that means that delivery took me officially one hour and 18 minutes for $49. It's good, still good, still good money. Um, but with that said, I'm out. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I see the subscriber count going up. We're trying to get to 10K by next month. Okay, let's make that happen. But until then, hit that like button and show me some love. I'm out, peace.